Hello guys, what is up? It has been a really long time since I talked to you, um, but I'm back today to hopefully do a little catch up video and kind of give you an update of what's been going on the last six months. First, I would like to say a huge thank you to my dad for putting together the last video that I posted on this channel. Uh, the last couple months, they've been crazy, but crazy in the absolute best way possible. Um, things have been moving at the speed of light, but I'm really glad that he was filming graduation week and able to put a video together, especially for all the parents out there. Um, he gave some really good wisdom for you if you're an academy parent. So if you haven't checked that video out, go ahead and do that. I'll link it here. Uh, but yeah, so today I'd like to, like I said, catch up a little bit and tell you what's been going on and where I'm at now. I'm currently filming this video in my house in Virginia, which is where Nolan and I are stationed now that we've graduated. Yeah, let's, let's go back a bit. The last video I posted before the one that my dad did was our bill at night video. I'm looking at my phone. I have a list of notes because I don't want to miss anything. So after bill at night, things were crazy. Like I said, the absolute best way possible, but crazy nonetheless. So on March 3rd, Bill at night, Nolan and I found out that we were both going to be stationed here in Virginia uh, for our first tour after graduation. We both got our top picks and it was absolutely awesome. If you didn't see that video, go back and watch that one too. Bill at night's on a Thursday um, and then after class on Friday, the Academy Spring Break starts. So typically Bill at night Thursday. First, you don't pay attention to class on Friday because you know they're busy scouring Zillow and talking with their family and friends. Relationship-wise, with putting in to co-locate in Virginia, Nolan and I knew that our relationship was headed towards marriage. We had always received the advice from mentors and family and friends that having a long friendship and a short engagement, long friendship, short dating experience, however you want to phrase that, a long friendship uh, and then move pretty quickly right to marriage was important to us. And that was something that we both agreed on in our stance towards relationships. Uh, we believe that dating is the phase that you move through, not necessarily something that you stay in for long periods of time. We believe that dating is supposed to get you to marriage. And so anyway, long story short, we knew that in deciding to start a relationship and in deciding to co-locate, it meant that we were going to likely get married. Um, and so behind the scenes of all the videos that I was filming last year, we were intentionally getting to know each other um, so that we could determine if that was what we wanted to pursue. I knew that a proposal was coming. I guessed that it was going to happen during spring break, actually, because we were going to one of the OCF retreat centers and I kind of figured that that's where he had planned to do it, uh, you know, cause that'd be a great place, right? But he caught me by surprise and proposed the day after Bill at night actually, so that Friday before we had even left town and he did it on a beach at Harkness State Park. All right, <laughs> we're out here. Aaron, what just happened? You're videoing me, I don't ever get it. <laughs> Come on, what? What is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. On the beach, Aaron's favorite place. <laughs> what do you have to say? I don't have anything to say. Um, and it was really special to me because it was very simple. It we were on a date that we had been on many times before. I mean, we were just going to one of my favorite restaurants in New London, and then to walk at a beach that we had both been to numerous times. Um, but now that place is somewhere that I will rem remember forever as, you know, the place where Nolan asked me to be his wife. How do you feel, mister? <laughs> Holy moly. I don't even know if I can believe it. <laughs> what? I can definitely not believe it. Look at that thing. Yeah, who Whoa. paid for that? <laughs> it's very special, just the two of us. We actually saved our first kiss for when we got engaged. So beautiful moment, beautiful sunset. I could definitely tell that, that God was there and Again, knowing that a proposal was coming, I had I had prayed over it and you know just asked the Lord to make Himself known in that moment and to to 
to give Nolan the words and the confidence that he needed. And just in the color of the sunset, it was clear, like God, God proved to me that he was there. So that was definitely a cool answered prayer. But anyway, um, afterwards we called all of our family and friends and then the next day we left for spring break. <laughs> I don't know how does this work. So with our situation, our options were to either get married quick, right after graduation, when all of our friends and family were in town and Nolan and I had our 30 days of graduation leave, or we were going to wait and deal with living separately in Virginia because we weren't going to live together if we weren't married. Uh, and then we would have to navigate multiple operational schedules with us being on different cutters. And then just family travel dynamics and everyone, all of our friends being free at the same time. So it was, it would have been crazy. So with the input of our friends and mentors and what we of course felt that God was calling us to do, we decided to stick with the trend of packing two big events into two days, referring to, you know, Bill and I getting engaged and have our wedding the day after graduation. So literally the Thursday after our graduation from the academy and commencement uh we we got married <laughs> and we got married in the academy chapel it was super awesome and looking back like i wouldn't have wanted anything differently other than to start this new adventure of life together so yeah uh, that being said though it meant we had to plan a wedding in two months so again looking at my list here that meant i was trying to finish school plan a wedding, soak up time with friends, schedule a move, find a place to live, prepare for my new job. And unfortunately, the YouTube thing kind of fell by the wayside a little bit, but I I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, and I'm glad that it, it, you know, wasn't my priority because I would tell any of you any day to prioritize being present where you're at. Uh, with my videos, I wanna encourage you after you watch them to close the browser and go live out the lessons that you've you've learned yourself rather than just binge on the internet, you know? Um, so hopefully you can understand why I kind of disappeared for a few months. But after spring break that week, I was in full on wedding planning mode. I was getting logistics figured out and spending time with my friends. Say, Romeo, take me somewhere we can be you know, because it was the last few months of the academy where I was, you know, living a few doors down from my best friends. And now, although living in my own house with Nolan is great, like, I don't just get to walk down to my friends' rooms every time I want to see them. After we graduated, finished school, um, we got married, went on a honeymoon. All right, we made it in the park. We did. We're going on our first ride, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, how do you feel, Nolan? Got our newly really red buttons. Ever after. I'm just curious. It's taking it all in. First time here. Yep. <laughs> Had 30 days of leave with our families. <laughs> Last day of high school. Oh, are you videoing this? Yeah, off she goes. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I miss this place. We moved down to Virginia. And I got a lot of stuff in the car with me. You wanna know why? It's because today is moving day just picked up the keys we've been working for two weeks and are finally able to get in our new house today uh nolan is on a two-day shakedown cruise starting this morning so he is not here to help me move in but my wonderful cousin william is going to be living with us and so he is here to help me pick up all my facebook marketplace furniture finds 
and carry the heavy boxes at least into the garage. So this is one car load. We got the trailer already parked at the house. It's crazy because I think the last time I recorded myself talking was the night before the wedding. And so it's been a while since then, like a month and a half. And I think I realized that I video every single time I'm alone, which hasn't been very often since I've been married and with Nolan all the time. And now that he's gone on shakedown and then leaves for underway on Tuesday, I'm really sad. Um, but I think I video more when I'm alone. So maybe that'll be good. I'll vlog the times when we're not together so you can see what I'm thinking when we're not together. Anywho, yeah. We got involved in a new community here. We reported to our new units, and then we got underway for our first patrols in the middle of July. Luckily, our patrol schedules for the first go around lined up and we had all of October together, which was amazing. Probably one of the best months of my life, you know, just finally getting a chance to settle into married life in our, in our new place. I mean, this is the first time we've had our own, our own house, our own furniture. It's been so fun, you know, getting all that stuff together and cooking for myself, well, cooking for Nolan and I and cooking new things, you know, all the fun stuff that you don't necessarily get to experience at the academy just by the nature of, you know, what it is. But yeah, it's been, it's been super fun. And now, unfortunately, um, Nolan is underway again and I'm here. This next go around, our schedules don't line up so perfectly uh, because he'll get back right before Christmas and I'll leave for patrol right before he gets back. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a long stretch this time, but that's just the nature of of the job and I this last time when we came back we were so much more in love with each other than when we left and so I'm not I'm not worried about it as long as we're both leaning into the Lord um, it's a time to grow us and we'll look back after two years and hopefully uh, be thankful for what we endured and also so thankful to just have the time finally together now that we're settled in fully qualified in our jobs I feel like I'm able to reflect a little bit more now. And I wanted to make sure that I got back to you guys uh, with an update. And again, hopefully you can now better understand why I disappeared. As far as lessons go, I guess one of the biggest things that I'm really, really thankful for is just the fact that, that I prepared, prepared in prayer for the busyness of everything that's happened uh, the last six months. In the year before that, at the academy, um, it was COVID. So not only were we forced to be stuck in our rooms, um, but I, I wasn't in a relationship. I was just focusing on school and, you know, developing relationships with my friends. I started this channel because I had the extra time. Um, but throughout that season, I did spend so much time in intentional prayer just for, for what was to come. You know, I was hopeful that, that I would eventually get in a good relationship. Eventually I would be able to move into a house and cook and all these things. And I, I was hopeful for everything that was to come. And I was, you know, I prayed to God about it, just that he would, he would make himself known in those situations. Like I talked about with our, with our engagement, I really just wanted to see God through it all. And so in praying for it so diligently, it was cool because I got to experience all the craziness with God. Um, and so I would just encourage you wherever, whatever season you're in, like God's always there and he always wants you to reach out and he wants to walk through things with you. And they're so much cooler when we get to walk through them with God. So I would just encourage you to pray about everything. That's like lesson number one. We can notice God in every single season and in every single place 
Like these last six months have been absolutely crazy. Not only have we been in different places physically, like we couldn't move into our house for the longest time. Like we were put it in before we could move in. So we were living with some family friends. And then obviously when we go underway, we're living on a boat. And then when we're here, like there's so many different seasons here. Like sometimes Nolan and I are both here. Sometimes I'm here and he's gone. Sometimes he's here and I'm gone. Sometimes we're both gone. Like there's just absolutely no consistency, even in like simple things like getting a workout schedule. It's, it's impossible. Like work changes every day. The nature of the Coast Guard and the military in general is just that like the only thing that you can rely on is that things are going to change. So anyway, with that, I'm just so thankful that God meets us in every single moment and he is so consistent because I mean, these last six months, nothing else has been. So <laughs> it's, it's really cool that we get the opportunity to learn that lesson so tangibly being in the military. Um, so yeah, that's like just one of the other big lessons that I have taken away from this last six months. And I would really like uh, to do some more, more videos on what I've been learning as an ensign and, you know, in the Coast Guard, in the real world, and hopefully I'll get to them. But also hopefully you can understand that my priority isn't to just do social media full time, it's to, to do life full time, you know, to be present where I'm at and to you know, make new connections here. I've really enjoyed getting involved in the OCF community that's in Virginia and then also just our local church and people from, that have lived here their whole entire life, people, other military, there's, there's so much military in Virginia, which is great. And I have so many friends from the academy that ended up here. So just diving in and establishing community here, even just with neighbors has been super cool. So, yeah, that's my priority, but I do want to get back to this because it's a way that I've been able to reflect and share with others. And I'm even speaking at a Virginia Academy admissions event this weekend. Like YouTube has just opened so many doors and helped me meet so many more people. So I'm really looking forward to whatever God has in store. I trust that his plan is good and that he will be there. Like I said, that's one number one lesson I've learned. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this gives you a little bit more perspective on what I've been up to. And just thank you so much for, for tuning in and for caring about somebody's life who you've never even met before. I haven't met so many of you, but a lot of you care. And I, I love reading your comments. And even though I don't respond to every single thing, I really do appreciate your investment in my career and my experiences and my faith. I just, I love hearing the comments and I'm just really grateful. So I hope you guys have an awesome day, an awesome week. And hopefully I'll see you sooner rather than later. <laughs> Bye guys.